All right. Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. This is our um, weekly team huddle, and it is November 12, 2017. And we are just excited um, for tonight, excited for the month, for everything that's going on. You guys are having just an awesome month. And, <laughs> you know, it's just a fun time of year um, with everything that's going on with all the holiday things that are starting and fall and everything pumpkin spicy that's happening. So um, I am excited to welcome um, a special guest that we have tonight and um, she's going to share um, a training with us and then after she's done I have just a few um, kind of announcements I want to share um, and a couple things just to make sure we are all on the same page as we move forward for the week. So um, it is my great pleasure to introduce Executive Regional Vice President Charlotte Fleming. Um, Charlotte and I have um, become accountability partners in the last um, two months, and she is just an incredible um, woman that I absolutely admire and respect on multiple levels. And um, she's not only a um, successful Arbonne um, consultant. She also um, is a wife and a mom and she also, I don't even know what you call you, but you own a law firm and you're super savvy at it. And that's what your um, kind of career has been for quite a while. Um, and so she's got a training for us tonight that I'm just excited for her to share. And I just so appreciate Charlotte that you are willing to take some time out of your busy life to pour into us and this team. And so I am ready to hear and absorb and then apply what we get from you. So I'm going to toss it over to you. Thank you. Can you hear me, Missy, now? Yep, you're great. This is really, I think, only the second uh, Zoom I've ever done. So. I know. I feel very special because <laughs> you're like, I don't do video calls. And I'm like, I don't I know video you don't, calls. but you'll do it for me. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Missy, for inviting me. I never do video calls because by this time of night, I think I just look like a nose, you know, or something. I I just feel like, you know, by the end of the night, we're all in our pajama bottoms. But um, for you, Missy, I do just about anything. After that stand until call that's gone all over the country, um, you're going to be a rock star at the top echelon of Arbonne. So really proud of you for doing that. And I'm enjoying being accountability partners to Nation with you. When you're shooting for a goal, sometimes it's hard to do a lot of calls when you're really working your business and stretching. So if you're watching this video, either live or recorded, what I want you to get is a rubber band or a ponytail holder or something like that. This is gonna be part of my talk tonight. If you can't find one, that's okay. You can just watch me and later I want you to do it yourself. But this is part of my talk tonight. So let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I live outside of Springfield, outside of Nashville, excuse me, in Springfield, Tennessee. Um, I do not live in the part of Nashville, which you see on the Nashville TV show, or that's, you know, an hour and a half uh, traffic where everybody and their brother is moving to Nashville. I live out in the country, um, about an hour north toward Kentucky. And I started my Arbonne business 12 and a half years ago when I was given a gold bag RE9 set by my sponsor, Rita Gregg, who is unfortunately deceased. She passed away when she was 54 years old. And... I rolled up to Dr. Deanna Osborne Holdren. Now she's remarried. And I have been a regional vice president for 12 of the 12 and a half years I've been at Arbonne. I joined in May of 2005. I became a district manager in June, a area manager in August. And on December 1st, I became a regional vice president. My first paycheck in Arbonne was $6,200. And I had a Mercedes in my driveway by Christmas. And I thought, wow, why didn't I do this instead of going to law school? Um, because I'm now making as much as, as some lawyers in a small town. You know, everybody thinks lawyers make a lot of money, but it's the same with a lot of professionals. If you choose a quality of life in a small town, like a To Kill a Mockingbird lifestyle, which I have chosen for my family, then you don't always make the most money. But what happened was I went, whew, boy, that was, that was great. I'm a regional vice president. And there I've stayed, um, just treading water for many, many years. Very proud of the fact that I've been able to provide extras for my family and pay cash for my son's college and now paying a large part of my daughter's college through my Arbon check, but um, not satisfied with that anymore. And I'm moving forward in my business with my team, uh, which is primarily in Tennessee, North Carolina, and in Kentucky. I have a lake house in Kentucky on Lake Malone, which is north of Bowling Green, which I've had for over 20 years. So I, I'm part Kentuckian. 
And I also have a very large team in North Carolina. I have two regional vice presidents under me at this time. So there's me plus two. And um, one of those is my sister, Vicki Woodard, who many of you may know. Uh, she was a former realtor and she lives in Nashville. So my, the topic of my talk today is called Stretch Too Thin, uh, how Arbonne can help you and others balance your lives. And I don't know if you've been hearing about this, but I've been meeting with a lot of people via you know, three-way calls and one-to-one -one appointments. And I'm hearing a lot of things that are scream out language such as, Charlotte, I'm just so stressed out. Charlotte, I'm just trying to survive, survival type language. Um, have you ever heard this one? I'm anxious about life, or you know they're anxious about life because they come flying into the coffee appointment, their bags are disheveled, they're, you know, they're trying to get to the dance class or the soccer field or whatever they're trying to do, homeschool, whatever. Realty, realty in Nashville is so hot, if you don't see a house within four hours, you're not gonna get it. So the realtors are, I would say their adrenal glands are shot, they're just completely shot. Well, the answer is, is that all of us at some level are living a survivalist lifestyle if you're in a nine to five J-O-B just above bankruptcy job. And I wanna submit to you today that, there, that Arbonne can help you balance your life and can help others that you haven't even met yet or member, members of your team balance their lives. I was just doing, I contracted late onset eczema psoriasis um, skin condition, which is pretty severe. That's why you see me wearing Michael Jackson gloves. And part of my work and my research, because lawyers just research everything, as you know, that's what we do. That's what triggers do best. I got an adrenal uh, fatigue workshop with Dr. Aviva Ram, R-O-M-M. -M. She's a midwife and a doctor from Harvard. And she said, if you stretch yourself like a rubber band, this is where I told you, if you've got your rubber band or your ponytail, stretch it as far as it'll stretch without breaking it and then let it go back in. Stretch it as far as it'll go and then let it go back in. How long will this ponytail last? Oh, it'll last a long time. You know, you find one in your couch. But she said you have to stretch in your life and then you have to release. And if you don't, that's going to equal illness and stress and anxiety. We all need a break. I remember there is a, a dog race in Alaska. I can't say the name. It's like a diatrod or a diderod or something like that. And there was this guy that kept winning all the time. And they asked him, what is your secret to success? This is a weeks long dog sled race in Alaska. And he said, the secret to my success and the reason I win is I only run my dog six days a week. And on the seventh day we rest. But the other teams run their dogs seven days a week and they exhaust themselves. Have you ever heard of anything where you work six days and you rest? Is that computing with any believers out there? Um, and that really convicted me that we need to think about balance within our Arbonne business and we need to share and show balance when we're prospecting new business builders to join our organization, hashtag join our family. Because if you're like me, I just got back from a retreat in Gatlinburg and it's like a family reunion. I mean, it's, you know, the hugging and crying carries on when we get there, when we leave, we're singing Amazing Grace last night. You know, it was just an, it's just an incredible experience. But what I want to tell you is when I, one of the reasons why I don't think that we've become a nation yet is because I do a lot of thinking about Arbonne. Has anybody out there ever thought about Arbonne? A whole stinking lot, but they actually don't do anything. Uh, many of us think about Arbonne all the time, and, and we think that we're doing Arbonne, but we're never actually off. We never give us ourselves a day off. We never give ourselves an evening off. Um, and, and, and I've been reading this book by Mel Robbins, and if you're not going to GTC, just sign up before it's sold out, because she's the keynote speaker, and I'll be as close as I can get. She wrote the book, The Five Second Rule, which is five, four, three, two, one, do it. And I read her book, um, reading it now for the third time in a row, because as you know, you can't get everything out of a book in one time. Be like a lawyer, read it several times, read it front to back, back to front, you know, read certain paragraphs that speak to you. But basically in her book, she says, if you're going, to, if you know, you've got to just do it. You can't think about it. We're not going to make a list. Everyone's like, make a list of 100. That's great. Go ahead, make a list of 100. But if you're driving down the road and you think of somebody that you want to talk to about Arbon, you stinking find them on Facebook and call them right then. They don't go on your list. And that's what I've been doing. You know, if I think of somebody, I call them. If I feel like someone needs me, I call them. 
if I need to do something for my Arbonne business, I need to make up packets. Have you ever had make up packets on your list for like 14 days and you didn't make up any packets because you just think about making up packets? Go make 10 packets and then curiosity packets and then you'll have them when you're prospecting. So what I want to subscribe you to tonight is that you need to work in Arbonne and then you need to let yourself enjoy yourself. There is nothing wrong with binge watching Stranger Things. Hang on, I think I, I lost a oh, low battery. That's not good, is it? Um, you, it's okay if you binge watch Stranger Things. I don't even know what Stranger Things is because I don't watch, but I know people are binge watching. It's okay. You, it's okay to post photos. You don't have to be Arbon 100% all the time, but you have to be intense about it. People are like, because one lady said, is Charlotte always that intense about things? Well, yeah. When it comes to feeding my family and putting my kids through the best education that I can, yeah, I get kind of serious about it. I need to lighten up a little bit. Um, but the fact of the matter is you need to create a work shift. You need to put yourself to work and be your own boss. You need to put yourself to work for two to three hours a day. Now you can have that in the morning if you work nights, nights if you work days, if you homeschool in the afternoons. You can work that whenever you want, but you better pick a time. There's a training that I did called the two hour tornado where you sit your bottom down for two hours and you do nothing but outgoing calls. You don't take any incoming calls. And if you've ever taken my, um, my two hour tornado training, you know that requires dancing and getting excited and getting all your phone numbers ready and making these outgoing calls. It's the same thing. I don't have a lot of time. I do Arbonne in 10 to 15 hours a week because that's all I have because I have a full-time job still. I'm the managing partner of a large, the largest law firm north of Nashville. Um, which is still small, but it's, it's, you know, only 4% of law firms in the United States are owned by women. And I'm really proud to own it. But the fact of the matter is Arbonne is really important to me. It's a priority for many reasons and they're layered. And, and what I want to tell you is you need to put yourself to work and then you need to let yourself go. Does that make sense? You need to put yourself to work and you need to work really hard and intense, put numbers in your car, five, four, three, two, one, make up packets, do it, do it, do it. Stop thinking about it. So if you're thinking about Arban, I want you to get up and do something. I don't want you to just think about it. Okay, you need to do income producing activity. That is not fix up your folders. You fix up your folders when you can't call someone on the phone. It's five in the morning, you can't sleep, you make folders. But otherwise you call people during the day and you leave messages. I used to not call people because they were at work. What? The fact of the matter is if they're not gonna answer, then they're not gonna answer. Call them at lunch. If they don't answer, they'll call you back or text you back. Um, so the stretching of the rubber band, if you stretch this rubber band as far as you can stretch it, practice later, stretch it as far as you can stretch it and hold it there and never release it, what is gonna happen to the rubber band? It's either gonna break or it's gonna become that rubber band that you can't stand because it won't stay on your hair band because it's too stretched out. Do you see what I'm saying? You, you can't run at 100% all the time. Don't try and do that. This is something that took me years to understand with Arbonne because I used to be so stressed out. And my, one of my mentors, Lisa Vori, said to me, Charlotte, do what you can do. Do what you can do every day and then do it again tomorrow and do what you can do. And that's what I want you to know, do what you can do. So how are you going to help other people find balance in their life through Arbonne? We've always been trained to pick Tiggers and not Eeyores in Arbon. We want people that are cheerful and they're not cancerous and they're not search and rescue. And, you know, we hear all these things and we read about it, but I want to, I want to get, I want to turn that on its head just a little bit tonight. And I want to give you some people to think about that may need balance in their lives that Arbon might be just the thing that they need in their lives. So let me ask you this. Are you aware that 43% of older American adults report acute loneliness on a weekly basis. 43%, that's over 70 years of age. Eunice Ray from Kentucky has talked about this a lot. Re people in that age group don't have enough to retire and they're lonely. Some of them don't talk to another human being. And mo by the way, most uh, over 70 uh, adult Americans living alone are what? They're women, they're women. So um, I am asking you to look for lonely people. Because what do lonely people need in their lives, you guys? What do they need? They need a family. They need a culture. They need what Arbon has to offer. And they have, they have contacts that have money because their kids are typically out of school. Now, some of them don't have enough saved up for retirement. I understand that. I get it. I know there's some people that are really struggling and they're greeters at Walmart and there's nothing wrong with that. But there are other people out there that they have money to buy. And they, 
age dynamic in America is shifting upward. There's like a real famous model that's 61 and has gray hair right now. And she's talking about, you know, why not hire me? That's the age demographic that where they have, they have some money to spend. So look for people that are lonely. They're not going to tell you they're lonely, but you're going to know that they're lonely. Um, invite them to something, invite them, invite them, invite, maybe they don't get one other social invitation. Um, some of the lonely older Americans report that the only adult person they have conversation with typically is their doctor. That is really sad. Okay, sick people. Dr. Tom O'Brien says up to 70%, excuse me, 76%, oh my gosh, of Americans have some level of non-celiac gluten insensitivity. What that means is They've got a problem with gluten, but they're not celiac. 76% of Americans. People always think you're either gluten intolerant or you're not. You're celiac or you're not. Apparently, it's like the autism spectrum. I don't know enough about it yet, but I'm going to research this Dr. Tom O'Brien. But you can be on a spectrum of gluten insensitivity. Look for sick people. What do we have to offer sick people? Hello. 30 days to healthy living. What about people that have never had an opportunity to travel? I had someone in my law office who said she's never been outside the state of Tennessee. And all she's ever wanted to do is go to New York City and see the lights. What if you could tell someone about Jamaica? What if they could earn Jamaica for them and their family? You know, I don't know, but Cancun looked awful fun to me. And I was not happy about not being there. Not at all happy. And I want to bring people to Jamaica. So look for people that have never traveled that would love to travel. Another thing, how many people do you know have sadness and grief? I'm not talking about the kind necessarily that puts them to bed. Maybe someone that's lost their mom. In my age demographic of 55, we're all losing our parents. Who's lost their parent? Grief is a very difficult process. It's a long process, by the way. Do they need a friend? Do they need an organization to belong to? Because these are the kind of people that if they join your organization and they're part of your family, you know what happens when Arbon gets in people, right? It grows. It grows in a good way. So look for people that are, have some sadness and grief. They're not going to tell you, but you know. And remember, when they lose a child or a grandchild or a sibling or a parent, you know, the casseroles come running in the first couple of weeks. But then what happens after that? They're not there anymore. The casseroles are gone. And they need people. Invite them. Invite them to your meeting. Invite them to your make, makeup and mocha. Invite them to your holiday sip and shop. Maybe that's the only thing they get invited to. Don't over, don't leave these people out. Who do you know that's over medicated? The average 50 year old woman right now is on five medications. That blew my mind. If you know someone that's over medicated, because all the doctors want to do, I've been to a lot of doctors lately with my hand condition and they all want to give you medication. So my question is, who do you know that's over medicated that might really benefit to be a detoxer in the 30 days program? Um, who do you know that's anxious? And I'm not saying that in any funny way. I mean, there's people out there that have panic disorder, are very anxious, maybe their hormones are imbalanced, maybe they have, um, they've just had a baby and they have um, some type of syndrome, a hormone imbalance from uh, postpartum. I, I don't know what it is, but if you know an anxious person, invite them to come to something that's relaxing, a spa night, or just come over and we're just gonna pamper you, is what Lisa Warius always says. Who do you know that's broke? Who do you know looking for a stand up on your feet nine hours at night, second job, so they can put Christmas under the tree for their family? You know somebody that's completely broke. Even working Americans, some of them are really, really broke. Um, there are kids coming out of school that have $75,000 in debt and they're working for nine bucks an hour at Starbucks. Invite them to something. I know millennials are like herding cats. I have one myself. My daughter's a district manager. And if you're a millennial, please don't take offense to that because you guys are awesome and you can teach us a whole lot about social media and how to brand ourselves and everything. But there are a lot of really well-educated, smart, tech-savvy millennials, you guys, that are underemployed right now and living with their family because they can't get enough money to get out. Invite them. Um, this is near and dear to my heart. I'm an, I'm an empty nester. I'm the kind of empty nester that took it pretty hard when my last one flew the coop and went to Belmont University in Nashville. And I had to pull myself on the side of the road and cry a few times. This was, I was really, it took me much harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm now calling one of my branding. Uh, I started branding this weekend. We had to do a social media workshop up in our Gatlinburg retreat. And my new, one of my new branding, you're going to see me brand is empty nesting together. We can empty nest together. If you're an empty nester, you and I can get together. I can get together with my daughter. And even though I'm empty nesting, we can do this business together. And another thing I'm going to be working on is hashtag family business because my sister and my daughter are both in Arbonne.
If I'm going to put my sister and daughter in Arbonne, do you not think I think it's the best thing on the planet? Honestly, think about that. So what I want you to do is I want you to tell people when you meet with them that Arbonne is a culture that they want to be a part of because we help people with loneliness that are sick and need help with nutrition that that want to travel that might be sad and need adult conversation maybe they're over medicated and they need to get off of it maybe they're anxious and they just need some friends maybe they're broke and they need a paycheck maybe they're an empty nester and their house is so quiet they're going to scrub their you know toilet with a toothbrush because they got nothing to do and stretch yourself work really really hard in arbon when you're working and then go on a date or have, I have a little demonstrator here. This is my four ounces of Merlot that I'm allowed to have. Um, and Alzheimer's is going to be going up, up to 200% in the next 20 to 30 years. And one of the things I recommend is four ounces of red wine. And even if you're not, if you don't drink alcohol at all, that's fine. It's your belief system. That's fine. But I'm going to start doing things for me because I'm not just going to think about our bond. I'm going to do it. So five, four, three, two, one, balance. And that's the end of my training. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You're <laughs> so amazing. Well, and you're hilarious. I don't know if you could see me and Tara and Lori and Megan's camera's not on, but I, like dying laughing on half of those things. <laughs> and I will say, thank you for explaining the gloves because at first I thought you had like magic angel hands and i was like i don't know why your hands are so white but no, no. really I have, I have um advanced eczema and psoriasis and i have a uh, danger of secondary infections so one of my doctors wants me to wear gloves which is hilarious because i look like michael jansen jackson every time i start signing 100 documents i have just on one hand so but thank you for having me missy and i hope Absolutely. something that i talked to you about touched your heart tonight and you can um use it and amplify it within your own businesses yeah i appreciate it um if you have just a second do any of you gals who are on wanna do you have any questions for charlotte um i don't want to keep her too long but i i do I'm like to, i'm gonna use answer, her if but... we got her so anybody have any questions or things they want to comment on Um, Charlotte, that was awesome. Thank you. Um, I have my band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got your band? Okay. Got my band. Got band. Now I got this training idea for my daughter who wears one of these on her wrist all the time and then it's completely yeah. stretched out. And I want to know where Lori has <laughs> purple hats because she's got a photo with a purple hat and I've got to have one of the purple hats. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, I want you to snap yourself with this and remember this training. Okay. Yeah, that won't be hard. So I'm the person that doesn't take any time off. Okay. So how, um, but not because I don't, not because I'm working, but more because I'm thinking. Um, yeah. And then I get tired. And then I'm kind of stopped because I'm tired. And then I'm like, you can't stop because you got to go. <laughs> so was there something that you did to work on that, like on that focus time? Mm-hmm. Well, it's like a car. If you get in a car and you leave it on all the time, you're going to run out of gas. Okay. So there's two books you should read. Um, one of them is the five second rule by Mel Robbins. Have you read that? Yep. Read it several yeah. times. It's good. And then I'm reading another book called the adrenal hmm. thyroid revolution. Um, this came from that workshop that I did. And what's remarkable is her, this is, uh, you know, working on yourself and what you're asking me. Um, she and I, if you want me to missy i'll just post this underneath the comments so people can grab that book it's a four-week uh program and and basically it's the same thing as 30 days to healthy living if you look at the things she doesn't want you to eat and the things she wants to do it's 30 days to healthy living but every doctor that i've listened to and uh, talks about relaxing and i just never gave myself that that privilege you know, I'm a go, 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 go work 40 hours a week and then do Arvon and then with the kids and then da, 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 da. If I'm not doing something, there was a, a friend of mine that told me in the nine years he worked next to me in, in my office, he never saw me sit down or take a luxury call. I don't do, I never did massages or nails or hair or anything. I, that's just not me. I didn't have time for it. I didn't watch TV already. So I've had to put myself as a higher priority. So I need to work my Arvon business really hard you know, in intense while I'm doing it. And then you need to, you need to say like you're clocking out. If you have to get a little punch card and clock yourself out and say, I'm done. Ching, ching. Did my two to three hours today. Cause if you don't do 10 to 15 hours a week of income 
producing activity in Arbonne, you're a hobbyist. You're a hobbyist. Um, that's just a fact. And if you want to be a hobbyist, I'm good. You can join my team. Well, like to wait a minute, you're on Missy's team. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to steal you. I'm kidding. But you know, um, you know I'm, and I'm looking for, I'm looking for single people. I'm not looking for married people. If you're in 31 or in, in Rodan and Fields, which is based out of Nashville or whatever, you're married and I'm not interested, but I really am out there looking for those single people on my list. You know, I'm looking for tiggers, but there's a lot of people out there, you guys, that would be amazing on Arb in Arbonne, but I think people overlook them because um, of one issue or another, the things I covered tonight. I hope that helps. But give yourself a break. If you stretch yourself all the way all the time, you're going to burn out and you're not going to get where you want to go. Think of the dog race, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got time for one more question if anyone's got one. Uh, you might want to know how I got to region in six and a half months without doing any parties. You might want to know that other than my launches. <laughs> yeah. that's okay. that's I want to hear that. But, um, and I, I've taught this before. I teach it in a training called Stop, Drop, and Roll. It's about dropping gold bags. Um, some of you might have heard that training. It's the only other video that I've done in 2017, which was a um, road to nation for Sybil Montero's team that I did an advanced training on Stop, Drop, and Roll. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to stop someone, you're going to drop the gold bag, and you're going to roll, meaning roll into following up with them and rolling them into your business. <laughs> or you could say enroll. <laughs> I thought of that. Oh, I'm so punny tonight. <laughs> uh, so punny. Um, but basically what I did, because I had no time to build my Arbonne business back in 2005, was I got little gold bags of RE9. I named them. I put little bows on top for the holidays or whatever it was, spring or summer. And I lined them up. And I went out into the marketplace and I handed them out. Um, how I do that is I hand out, it takes about one to two minutes to hand out an RE9 set to someone that would be interested. So I'd say, hey, Missy, how are you doing today? I just, I can't believe I ran into you in court. You know, I carry my gold bags to court. And people ask me if that's true. There's lots of lawyers in this town that have seen me walking around with gold bags. I don't know what they think is in it because I don't give it to the guys necessarily. Um, so I'm not sure what all those 98% of guy lawyers think I'm carrying around, but probably a present, but I carry around the gold bag to court and I don't go back to my office till I drop it off. I'll find someone to give it to. I don't go back into my driveway until those gold bags are working for me because those employees got to be working because those are employees. They work for you. So if you don't have a gold bag, invest or build a gold bag with your post rewards or however you can do it one piece at a time if you have to, but get an extra gold bag or two put bows on them and you're going to hand them out. And here's how you're going to do it. You're going to say, Hey, Missy, I'm so glad I ran into you in court. You know, I don't know what skincare you use. What skincare are you using now? Oh, okay. Well, great. Well, here's the thing. I am using the best skincare on the planet. I know you can't even believe I look 55. <laughs> That's so crazy. Anyway, I would really love for you to try this top of the line skincare that I have through a company called Arbonne. Have you heard of Arbonne? No? not airborne. No. Okay. Yeah. It's called Arbonne. And so I want to give you, I want to gift you. Oh, this is so exciting. I want to gift you with three days in the privacy of your home, the top of the line skincare. How much does it cost? Don't even worry about that right now. We're going to talk about that because I'm the deal girl. I'm going to give you the best deal. In fact, we're running a 40 or 50% off deal on this bag right now, but I'm telling you, you're going to look so much better. Take a before and after, and I'm going to get it back from you in about three days. Okay because um, I wanna see how you absolutely love it. Directions are inside and there's two rules. One, a little goes a long way, so don't be an overuser. And two, you can't use what you're using now. Is that, can you do that, Missy? Oh, okay, great. Okay, well, I'm gonna hand you the gold bag now. You sure you can use it in the next three days? Cause you know, I've got a waiting list for this. Oh, you're going out of town. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll give it to you next week. Oh, you're not going out of town. Okay, yeah, here, let me give you this gold bag. And I hand them the gold bag and they go, oh, okay, let's see, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Can we meet up Monday morning for coffee? And I'd love to tell you about Arbonne a little bit more and see what your results are with this. And I want to see your before and after. Okay. Okay, great. See you, Missy. If you go back and tape that, it's probably between a minute and two minutes. And when you don't have a whole lot of time, drop in gold bags. I drove, I dropped four gold bags. Then I dropped eight gold bags. And then when I was at my height, when I went region, I was dropping 12 gold bags. I lost one. So I was only dropping, I was only doing 11. You might want to have a board if you're going to do a lot of them. And don't stress out by those numbers. If all you can start out with is one gold bag to hand out, because one out of four are going to buy your gold bag. So approximately, that's my statistics. One out of four will buy it lock, stock, and barrel. And then how are you going to clean it when you get it back? You're going to clean it with antibacterial wipes. And you are absolutely advanced training here. You're going to pull off the tiny made in China white thing on the bottom of your gold bags. 
make sure you pick them up and they're not dirty on the bottom because you can wash them and they don't have to have any hairs on them because that's your calling card. So rip off the made in China because only the bags are made in China. I'm not sure why, but our products are not. So you don't want people to get confused with that. So that is how I went regional vice president drop and go bags. And I know Missy wants to comment on that. Yeah, that's absolutely. And then my, my follow-up question to that is, um, did you get referrals out of that? Because obviously you didn't build to region just on your own warm market. No, no, goodness, no. Um, no, I, I can't say I got referrals specifically because at the beginning I was really bad at referrals. I didn't really understand that. But what I got was when I'd sit down and talk to them about Arbonne, I would invite them to join my business. And if they joined, I would immediately move into the two launches. Now, I, when I say I didn't do parties, I didn't, I, my kids were four, five, six nights a week, dancing, competitive dancing, um, soccer, basketball. I, that, in that period of my life, now actually I'm doing more parties and group presentations than I've ever done, which is really strange after all this time. But you can, what I'm trying to tell you is, do what you can do with what assets you have. Do you have holiday? Sip and shop. Do you have makeup? Makeup and mocha. Do you have RE9? Drop those bad boy bags. Do you have essential oils? Diffuse it in your office. I don't know what assets you have to build your Arbon business, but if you have any assets at all, then use those assets as we go through the solid fourth quarter in sales. I mean, use your assets. Um, Deanna always asks people, what assets do you have? I was like, what is she talking about? She's talking about what you have to build your business. I don't care if you have a $55 silver makeup kit and you haul that in there. Oh, you're confident. You're in there with your makeup and you got 14 things in there because that's all you can afford right now. That's better than nothing. You guys, and make sure you only roll into a party with one try, one little makeup bag and one roller because we're not cabby. We don't roll in 12 like things of, you know, clothes or something. I'm not cutting on cabbie because I know some people that wear it, but I don't want to be the cabbie person. Yeah. You know, I don't want to have to break my back trying to set up my presentation. So, but back to, back to your question, Missy, because you know, I get like sidelined here, squirrel. Okay. Um, back to your question. Um, I did follow up with all of them. And then I would say, I guess the referral pitch would be, which I use every time. Do you know anybody that needs to look younger? Do you know anyone that needs to make some extra money? Make sure you let them know. And if they don't, they're just going to wrinkle up. And when I look really good, you know, that's the old Rita Davenport. I'm going to look great and you're going to look, you know, covered in wrinkles if you don't want my product. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I look younger now than I did when I joined Arbonne 12 and a half years ago. So, that's awesome. well, I think I'm going to say good night to everybody. Yeah, that's Here. perfect. Thank you for hopping on. We appreciate you, Charlotte. Ten. Thank you to all your gals and, and guys out there. And I wish you every success. I'll see you at the Nash Bash. All right. Good night. Bye.